Now the other day my darling wife was driving along in the Batmobile when people started waving at her and flashing her and she assumed it was because she was famous so she was waving back but in actual fact what had happened is the rear light here had fallen out and we're going to take a look at that. So many of these Audi A4 rear lights are cracked just here and that screw there is actually the only thing that holds this on and once that screw falls out or this cracks this light has a tendency to actually fall out so we're going to try and repair that today. Now to fix this light we're going to take the whole thing away and the easiest way to do that is to unplug the whole unit here. Now that little catch there hooks underneath a little hook in there and to get this off, push that back towards the wires and that will lift that up and allow you to unplug. These plugs here should be clipped into the lamp like that and not just lying down there. The first thing we're going to do in this repair is tidy up this here so it's going to be a straight edges and straight at the bottom and in order to cut that we're just going to use our trusty little Dremel tool here to get in there good with an angle grinder you could do the same thing with an angle grinder or a hacksaw as well i guess but we've got the dremel tool so we'll use that we've got a relatively straight edge there we're going to take this old raw plug here and chop a bit off and just glue it on there in the first instance so now that we've evened that up and cut our little piece of raw plug in there like that we're going to just use good old super glue to glue that in in the first instance we're just going to let that dry and after it's dry we're going to put a little insert in there a threaded insert that'll allow the screw to screw in there we may even paint that red you could even use a red sharpie just to give it an oem look so we're going to take a nylock locking nut you did not have to be one of these but that's what we've got here and we're going to file off all of these edges using an angle grinder and that's going to fit inside like so. We don't have a lathe but what we can do is clamp a drill down here, use another clamp to have it on and then hold our angle grinder on there and we should get a nice smooth round very thin insert. Eventually with our angle grinder and drill combo we've got a perfect insert down there we'll just be able to tap that in what we may do is actually heat that up and actually push it in there when it's hot and then the plastic will melt around it or we could just super glue that in as well so we've opted for super glue and that should be it now you could if you so desired put a bit of fiberglass around the edge here just to strengthen this. I'm not going to do that, but you could do it. You could also potentially put a little bit of super glue just on the edge there, but I don't want to risk getting any super glue in the threads. I think that basically is not going anywhere. We've got that light back in, but the real question is, will that bolt there actually fit into the insert that we've just made i mean the answer is yes so that my friend is job done it's worth having a look at these fittings because you can see this one here is starting to crack and you can actually save that just by putting a little bit of super glue inside there before it breaks off altogether 